But since we're talking about comedians, uh, we mentioned this. Did we mention this the other day? Did someone tell us that 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 Sean Sean is a YouTuber? I, I don't know anything about him. I mean, I've seen a couple of his YouTubes over the years. Does good work. He does very good work. I mean, really, really impressive um, depth. And um, this YouTuber Sean posted on Friday a YouTube that exposes Jimmy Dore's recent anti-vax lies and it is re incredibly well done and look here's the bottom line i don't think that we share much of an audience with jimmy Dore anymore i certainly would 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 perceive it as a as a um a failing if we have not <laughs> alienated people who think that jimmy Dore is uh actually providing any type of like um actual intelligent analysis and not disingenuous analysis yes. um and th this is important though if you do know people who still watch jimmy Dore, i i mean i think there's a a huge segment of his audience that does not care that he is uh engaging in anti-vax stuff that's why they're there exactly that's why they came that's why they came and um we have said this in an offhand manner over the um, over the past couple of months. Matt has made the point you can look at Jimmy Dore's numbers and see the implications of his anti-vax stuff. Um, this is the way you build a, a following. But it is up to you people to make sure there's accountability. Not just accountability for, for Jimmy Dore. He doesn't care. I mean, he, he, he's, he obviously doesn't care. But for people who watch Jimmy Dore, pass this video on. We didn't make it. Uh, for people who, um, who amplify Jimmy Dore, who praise Jimmy Dore. You run interference for this BS. Who yeah. run interference for it. Who go on his program. Who shy away from criticizing him because they don't want to alienate a certain audience while still... All of it on the left. Maybe make sure if you're watching this and you do similar things to what we do. Make make sure as a career. Make sure that you, as an audience member or someone out there, make sure that these people see this video. All you have to do really is watch the first 10, 15 minutes to get to get the gist of it. Uh, you watch the whole video. Sean goes very into. He's meticulous about um, going through a couple of the stories that Jimmy Dore has done and really digs into the science and explains it in such a way so that you can know that it's knowable that if jimmy Dore actually gave an f none of this stuff is is beyond the reach of a person to understand at least well enough but this segment right here this is uh, in the first like quarter of the video we're just going to play a quick segment of it it deals with a story that jimmy was reading i think about um was it about singapore and he's trying to make the argument and i would say sean also very depth uh, deftly uh deals with the fact that jimmy Dore never comes out against the vaccine it's always nibbling around it and and creating you know uh, uh doubt and this and that and look doubt should exist people should be critical thinking about this stuff but jimmy Dore, and this is outlined in this one segment not only not only misrepresents articles that he's, he's talking about and misinterprets them either purposely or because he's just an idiot. Or doesn't read them. And it, or he doesn't read them. Reads the headlines and but, that's it. Which but, we already talked but about. But yeah. this segment shows where he literally changes the article to present a completely distorted uh, picture of what was argued in Singapore, which is, understand, you, well, let's play the clip and then I'll explain it. But Singapore's growing caseload has raised alarms, nonetheless, because of the speed at which cases have climbed. Despite policies including stay-at-home orders, intensive testing and contact tracing, and a ban on foreign visitors, and 80% of them are vaccinated, they're having the biggest outbreak ever. Now, sharp-eyed viewers will have noticed that what Dor just read out is not what the article says. And let's look at them side by side here. 
The article says throughout July and August, cases Pause in it for one second. Pause over. it for one second. And it's not just Jimmy reading it off. He produced that graphic. Or someone he, did. Well, his show rewrote the thing and presented it. And, and so I just want to make that clear. because found him doing this too recently. Like yes. Yes. Misrepresenting yeah. the... Um, misrepresenting it. But this is... He actually... Somebody typed it out. He had a screenshot of an article that then had like all of these stipulations that, that contradicted exactly what he said. In this instance, this is a graphic they copy and pay or, or they they cropped they cropped and use and said this was from fortune and then uh sean has the actual text yeah and i don't think it's a crop it's a reproduction a, a reproduction yeah will have noticed that what door just read out is not what the article says and let's look at them side by side here the article says throughout july and august cases in singapore ticked up to over 100 per day after nearly a year of almost no infections due to the city's previous zero tolerance policy emphasis on the word previous there then it goes on to say that policy included stay at home orders intensive testing and so on jimmy Dawes' text says the speed at which cases have climbed despite policies including stay at home orders intensive testing and so on he snips out the sentence making it clear that these policies were the previous policies the policies that were lifted and he puts the word despite in there now the word despite is not in this paragraph in the original article and this makes it seem like these policies are current ongoing policies He's rewriting what the article says to make it say something different. Now, I'd like to pause here and ask a question to any fans of Jimmy Dore's content that might be watching this video. Now, I know that the response to me saying Jimmy Dore produces anti-vaccine content will be to say, no, he doesn't. Dore doesn't directly tell anyone not to get the vaccine. He got the vaccine and he says that you can get the vaccine if you like. You know, he's not anti-vaccine. He's just asking questions. He's just got some concerns. He's just reporting the vaccine news. Now, my question is, if this was true, if Jimmy Dore really was just innocently asking questions and provoking debate, why does he need to lie? Why is he selectively quoting the article to avoid mentioning the positive effects of vaccination? Why is he editing the text of the article to make lockdown measures seem ineffective? If he was just reporting the news, he would just read out the article in full, right? If he's just asking questions, why not ask, why does Singapore have one of the lowest COVID death rates in the world? And the answer is because Jimmy Dore is trying to present a biased view of vaccines. He is producing content specifically to attempt to draw in an anti-vaccine audience. He's just doing it with plausible deniability because he doesn't want to be banned by YouTube. But let's be fair. Let, I mean, uh, th that is devastating. I think the most damning part of the article. Although there is, the, I mean, in the uh, the video that Sean produced, you can go through all of this. It's called Jimmy Dore's anti-vaccine lies. We will put a link to it um, in 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 the the, the show notes, and uh, people should go and and see that and pass it around. Um, and that segment we just played was from what? What? Uh, what, what? Where was that? At, at nine minutes in. Um, really important and it really really this this is out there this is a video that has gotten uh, two or three hundred thousand views mm -hmm. anybody who denies their awareness of this now are purposefully trying to be ignorant about it so understand the implications for people who go on his show who promote his material he is out there lying about this. Is this going to cause somebody to not get vaccinated, get COVID, give it to somebody else? Somebody going to die from this? Who knows? His wife implied that he regretted taking the vaccine and probably wouldn't anymore um, recently. So I think probably that is the message they want to send. If they not, they should be more clear about it. He's, he's also been saying that uh, it, he's been feeling side effects from the vaccine for months and months. So there's a direct, obviously, agenda and and let's be let's be clear here if this guy is willing to literally rewrite a public health article to convince people not to take a vaccine you and he's doing this for money you tell me where he stops you tell me what he wouldn't do in terms of like promoting stuff i mean give me a 
a fucking break. How's that? Yeah, let's uh, just address the Doors defenders who will not ever actually get into substance here because it's toxic and it would reflect negatively on their credibility. But we'll, but we'll just say you're obsessed with this guy. Well, good. Yes. Yeah, I am actually obsessed with a guy who is willing to Lie very about- potentially cause the deaths of people to make money on YouTube. That's sort of what the show's about, actually. That sort of dynamic. Yeah. Yeah, and and for whatever piece of his audience is still overlapping with ours or still considers themselves a part of the left, it also is a radicalization agent for people who we want to be on the left, moving towards a leftist direction. And when you have him basically red-pilling people on COVID vaccines, changing the content of articles... I mean, we see this publicly with certain people um, who might have like leftist imp- inclinations or whatever, but you can get led down the wrong path. And he's doing that actively and it's for himself and for his own financial gain. Yeah. And if people want to know what happened to Jimmy Dore, I'll, I'll tell you, you, you can ask the same question about any corporation that has um, sold a drug that is, you know, does people harm or any corporation that promotes a product that does people harm or cuts corners for safety or this and that money money he's just greedy he's just greedy and he doesn't give a fuck about you and the thing about big pharma too like okay i just want to make this clear he does not give a fuck about you his whole shtick about fighting for the little guy fuck he doesn't give a fuck about you He really doesn't. I mean, how do you produce a a lie like that? This isn't a mistake. Somebody sat down at the computer to write out that graphic and change the words to make it seem like lockdowns ineffective, vaccine ineffective. He doesn't give a fuck about you. really is i mean you want to talk about you know like i have virtue signaling right any commitment to medicare for all caring about people right losing their lives or dying right then look at that look at the changing of 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 life-saving information and the manipulating of it in order to appeal to a certain cohort for views and for money and then we're going to be talking about medicare for all Yep. If uh, if that happened, if we uh, um, put up a graphic like that, we would probably do a in full and on investigation. To actually, assign blame where it needs to be. Assigned. If we did it, yeah. If that aired on your show, if somehow I, I, I can't even <laughs> imagine, like honestly, like Bradley was some sort of sleeper cell. Exactly. Like I don't. I mean, I don't like. I mean, we make mistakes. We made mistakes all the time. But that is constructing a lie. We exactly, exactly. Yeah, and 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 we we try and address. I mean, we, certainly anybody like email. It's, it's, if we know, we will correct it. But that thing, somebody sat down to do that on purpose. And kudos to Sean. I mean, because he went in the he. he, he and I don't know who this guy is. He went deep. He went deep. He went deep. Not just that. I mean, that he put that up in the front because I think like. You know, if you want to watch only 15 minutes of it, or really, frankly, you know, 11 or 12 minutes of it, bingo, that's it. That's all you really need. Uh, but then he goes in with the other examples of this. I mean, Jimmy Dore just uh, tweeted out uh, the the supposed mRNA um, uh, who, who was linking back to something called trialnews.com, which is just sort of like a, it's just a website. Yeah, this guy Malone. This is a guy who claims he to be the this. inventor of mRNA, which other people um, uh, um, have questioned, let's just say. A disinformation campaign was initiated by the FDA and others to defer to deter the use of off-label treatment of ivermectin. Again, like this is sort of the ivermectin bullshit. It's just, it's, it's just incredible bullshit. It really is just incredible bullshit. 
I mean, I don't, I mean, I mean, who knows? Big Pharma's the bad guys, so don't get vaccinated so that you maybe have to buy monoclonal antibodies from them uh, and also $6, maybe there are uh, thousands of dollars that someone like Jimmy can afford. Uh, or maybe now you can take their new antiviral pill, which also enriches Big Pharma as opposed to the vaccine, which was entirely mostly for some of them subsidized by the government. They put some in, money into it, but certainly the profit motive is a lot more with ivermectin and with their anti antiviral pills than there is for the vaccines that were heavily subsidized by the government in order to end the pandemic. But he doesn't um, care about that. <laughs>